Cindy Kuma in the cleanup spot when the base is empty. You just said a minute ago, first two batters, hard hit balls off the arm of Torrance. And you felt that as a player. So when you know the opponent is hitting you early, how does that affect what you have to do to change, Amanda? Throw the change up more often. That might have been a, a pitch that Lance McMahon and the Alabama pitching staff, the pitching coach Lance McMahon, I should say, they have gone, you know what, let's try to save that change up until second time through the order. But I'd like to start seeing it now. Curve ball right there. She throws with good velocity in the upper 60s. But just to give them a different look, a different speed, as they're catching up with the speed that she's throwing right now. This Georgia team, as we talked about at the top of the show, leading the SEC now with 46 home runs. And Tony Baldwin joked that if they hadn't gone out to Stanford, where the ball was just dying in the outfield, he feels like his team would be leading the country in home runs right now. I lost a couple of games out there on the West Coast. And every field plays a little different. You know, their home field here is 190 down the lines and 220 to center field. So 190 is really shorter down the lines. Gives them a lot of opportunity to hit home runs, but also talk to us about how the wind has changed here at this field. Kuma to second. Stop! Oh, Lord. First two away. So if you are a softball fan, have been watching a lot of SEC softball games and have seen games here at this park, that you know that this park used to have all these beautiful trees behind the outfield. And that is kind of what this field was known for. Like you thought about Georgia softball and the field here in Athens, and you thought about all the big, beautiful trees behind the outfield. But with the construction, those trees are gone. And it's affected what Coach Tony thinks has affected the wind and maybe knock some more balls into the ballpark instead of letting them rip out. Sydney Chambly at the plate. Yeah, instead of the big, beautiful trees, it's now a big, beautiful, soon-to-be new softball facility taking up the entirety of left field. And that's what it used to look like. It, it almost felt like you were playing in a forest. Yeah, it Back did. when all those trees <laughs> lined the outfield. And, and a massive upgrade to this program's facilities. And they expect that facility out in left field to be done late summer, early fall. It'll house locker rooms, hitting facility, and a host of other tools for this program that just continues to be a national power year after year. Two two launched into center field. Back Let's see, the and we've done it again. My goodness! Oh! Jada Kearney, a two-run bomb to give Georgia the early lead. Wow! We're used to seeing off of the Georgia bats and off of the bat of Jada Kearney specifically for her entire career. 12th home run of the season for Jada Kearney gives Georgia the early lead 2-0. Wow! Last of five analysis, what's what? Let's keep it up.